no you have to open xilinx this xilinx uh, isc this you need to open and all of you already created a folder in that so open the same folder and store it in this yeah so i don't want require this tip first if anything is open first you need to close that go to file close project then go to file click on new project so once you give the new project you need to choose the path where you will be saving so so many of you already created a folder with your usn yes this folder so i'll just open it and look in so if anything general is there uh there is nothing like general so i don't want to create now i'll just save it in uh, any of this folder only okay i'll just open this new folder 6 and i'll save it inside that so this is inside d new folder 6 so the name of the file i'll just give it max max is the name of the project and the same name will be given for the file name as well so then just click on next yeah next you have to ensure this vhdl here okay then just click on next click on new source so in this give the same file name uh, given there and then select this vhdl module click on next so now this is important because rest all you know before so now what are all the inputs in the max so the data inputs or the inputs so i'll just name it as high and then the select inputs i'll just give it as select and i have output that i'll give it as z out so these are the three things with the port i is the input how many inputs in this i have eight inputs i0 to i7 so these are inputs correct but these are not a single input this is a vector so you should enable this bus and what are those bits so i not it starts and it end up with i7 so just change this maximum most significant bit as 7 select bit again select bit is not a single bit it is three bits so just you need to give it again it's an input enable this bus so again it is i select 0 to select 2 select 0 select 1 and select 2 three select bits z out it's an output just enable this out that's it then click on next so these are the ports just verify if you find some error go back do the corrections if you find it's right then click on finish then create it's asking to create yes then click on next next finish so uh, the contents basic requirements are done so then now i need to write the code so what is the code which we need to write here so that multiplexer z out is equal to 0 when the select bit is 000 else 1 when the select bit is 001 so that code we need to write it here between this begin and end behavior so you can just observe here it is a single line okay so that's why we have written the semicolon to the end of it so it's just a single line we are assigning all this so it's better we'll have this tab here so it will be giving more clarity for us so what we are going to assign for the z so this has been done just click on save so already we have given a file name max it just save with it so fine so once this has been done what next we need to do we need to simulate this first we need to synthesize this so this any errors we need to check it and then we need to simulate so this here synthesize and implementation program for, sorry the cursor to be placed on the name of the file otherwise we don't get this option implement is and be careful with these things many of you were doing errors in the test if the cursor is somewhere else you will not get that option at all cursor to be placed on the name of the file double click on this implement design okay once you double click on this it just convert this code if any errors it will list out that errors here you need to check in this error window if no errors it creates this cpld report 
So as of now, there is no error. So it generates a CPLD report. Now we can able to simulate this. Choose this behavioral simulation. Again, the cursor to be placed on this only then this model sim simulator will be visible. Just place somewhere else you come to know. Okay, this is mandate. Then expand this. Double click on this simulate behavioral model. So in this simulate behavioral model, we are interested only in the waveform. So this wave default window. Maximize this wave default window. So just maximize this. So then we can able to run with this. Yeah. I don't require the previous content whatever has been run on this. So what we can do, go to this reset. Uh, restart button click on restart restart fresh now I need to provide the inputs you can just click on this plus icons to expand these things okay now I can just right click on any bit go to force provide the value so now what I do is I'll just fix my eye some value I'll keep changing my select bit and I want to execute for that so what I do I just right click on the name of the uh, these inputs force the value provide any value it's up to you but uh, later we keep changing for your uh, screenshot purpose what you can do just fix some value for i and keep changing your select bit take down that as a snapshot once you complete with all select inputs like triple zero to triple one that as a snapshot for your working purpose you can just randomly provide some input so we keep monitor we keep changing this input yeah just check out is that eight inputs are given one zero one one zero one one zero yeah given one extra right fine these are the eight inputs we provided for i and then you provide select inputs so i'll give my select input as triple zero i'll just click on ok now many of you were finding difficulty in the lab exam i provided the input still it's giving no data so it means you're not working proper okay as soon as you provide the data it will not give any data you have to run for the data what you have forced there so click on run it has been executed now so when the select bit is triple zero what should be our output i not i not bit is zero so we are getting your zero so if I change this I not bit to 1, then for the same select bit, I'll not alter my select bit now. So it should be 1. Like that, you keep changing your select bit. So I'll just change my select bit as 001. So if it is 001, my output should be I1 bit. I1 bit is 1. So I'm getting 1. If I change my I1 bit to 0, I should get zero so this is how you just change your select bit and also your inputs check out is it working fine for all those things so like that once you do it then what do you do go to restart restart from the beginning fix some data input for I keep changing only your select bit so like I'll just fix some input for my any value whatever you want to store it okay one one zero zero I've given uh, zero triple one I'll give it so fine I'll just click on okay keep changing your select bit so I'll give my select bit as triple zero execute this so now it will be one so I just change my select bit as zero zero one so it will be one again because it is one year also if i give it for select bit as 100 zero zero, sorry 010 zero zero, then it will be again one because even third bit is one so now i'll just change my select bit as 100 zero zero. so now it will be zero because i4 is zero so this yellow line what I'm clicking there, it's like 
what is the values in that particular time duration and it will be displayed over here so if i click here what is the values here so if my select bit is triple zero i'm getting one because my i1 is sorry i naught is one in this case select bit is zero zero one i'm getting one because i1 is one here select bit is one zero zero i'm getting zero because my i4 is zero like that you run it for all cases and also you need to write down this or take down the snapshot once you run for all seven sorry eight cases and also you can write down this in the observation copy as an output so any go to file open the file this is how it will be displayed double click on this file name it will able to show your program so we'll just commit few error here so i'll just make it this also some two or three so now will it will not show any errors in this so i'll just need to repeat the process so synthesis implementation double click on this implement design i think it's not working yeah first let us save this yeah now we'll just work with this so now also it will not create any error it will not give any error because the code what i've written is logical error what to be assigned there when i simulate it i'll be finding an error over there so just look into this so what the changes we did it instead of um, i4 i make it i2 only so even with the input 100 it will give i2 even with 010 it will give i2 that's what the thing we did it you just go to the program execute it So restart the content. So I'll not force value for all this. Since I know these are the contents, I'll just force value for I2 as 1, I4 as 0. So give our select bit as 100. Zero zero. Run. So what is expected here is according to us 100 it should be 40 but we are getting 1 because our code is wrong so we'll just make our select bit as 010 just check out so we'll getting 1 because it is working for this suppose if i might have interchanged still it gives the output something like this so any logical error it will not throw any errors only syntax errors it can able to give it to you i think somewhere into that what will happen in case of syntax errors suppose i might have missed a double code over there then this else is not at all a, a keyword so i might have written your forget to write one double code here so just save it So it throws an error at that time you come to this below window so drag up okay you just click on here you can go upwards see what is that errors is look into that line otherwise you just make little more bigger here just look into that line so this is line number 39 so this is what the it's giving a literal string so new line in a literal string line number 39 so line number 39 it's giving so this string what we have written it's giving an error then next again in the line number 40 physical literal name expecting uh, signal i unexpected something like that so you need to look into that what line what is that error so don't expect 100 percent it will give that exact line and the complete uh, predicted errors but you need to look into this sometimes it will match that sometimes it will be uh, throwing the error based on its understanding you need to correct yourself